Hey, what is up, black community? <laughs> so, I need to check on a few things. It's just going to be another blog. Because <clears throat> why not, right? So, I had my boxwood over here. Okay, he's doing, he's doing okay. I kind of got a little worried about him because uh, it would have been his first time out here in the cold when it actually snowed. And it did snow, and it's not, I don't think you can see it, but it's snowing a little bit today. So, go in here. Look at my beautiful ginger. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. See, when I open the door, it's magically lighter, but... Yeah, that's a lot cold. Don't want to expose it to all that cold. Had to bring in a lot of things, like this grass. That's only good to zone 10. I... <clears throat> Turn on the light here. Brought in... It's still kind of dark. Brought in my elephant ears. Brought in my begonias. I've been having issues, of course. And it's it's gotten really bad. Again, I winded up getting thrips. Don't know how I got them. Don't know how I managed to got them, but I managed to get them. I had this guy outside, and, uh, yeah, I, I sprayed him down with, uh, neem oil, and, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go a bit hardcore and, uh, use this for pests, because, uh, if not, they're just gonna spread, and, like, you, you know, we, we know I've got pops. You know, anybody that subscribed to the channel or has seen my videos, you know, I'm a fan of palms, which they're out here right now kind of being protected from all the snow because they are in pots in that quarter line. Of course, I have him more over there. Still got to dig those up. If I don't, that's fine. You know, they're, they're really not that much, to be honest. But, uh... <clears throat> So, holy, how that must have fell off that plant on the bottom there. Anywho, I still got a lot of things to do. Like, so I have this side installated where the cold will come in. I still got to get some, and this is going to sound redneckish, but, uh, Paper towels is sticking between that crack because uh, it gets my pots over here really cold. And uh, I don't want that for any of my tropicals because uh, cold and wet can cause a root rot. And then this guy, he definitely needs to be root pruned. I tested that out yesterday and... Oh, he's used up so much water. Like, I did this. And, and this was after I gave him a good hard watering the uh, other day. I uh, gave him some water and he just... I placed him in a drainage dish or a plate. And I put some water in the bottom, and like, I came back, I kid you not, not even in a minute, he wicked up all that water. So, I'm about to take everything away, probably redo the landscape, and I am gonna have to see the root system on this poinsettia, because obviously it got, it got real good for it, and, uh, I just need to see the roots now, and do some root pruning, and put some new soil in there, I guess, because I don't want to get too big, anything unmanageable for my, uh, little area here, uh, because I, I really don't have a whole 
big area place tropicals. Uh, this is about the max of it here. It's kind of like just a little area where it's a show area, which is why it's right next by the door. It's just kind of a show area. Anyways, oh, and then there's my, you can't really see it, Batura Aquatica Bonsai. All right, let's head upstairs, shall we? All right, so here we are. Here's my big uh, fishtail palm. Uh, found scale on its frauds, and you know that's that's the reality of things. Is is you will get scale. Um, and then I found thrips on my ivy. My uh, invasive species here, my gold baby ivy, and my other variegated variety, this whole big pot had thrips, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do something about that majorly too. <clears throat> Um, I'm, I'm thinking about honestly, because I honestly, I wanted this pot originally for pothos to make a mix pot of, uh, pothos and, uh, use that for like, uh, the tropical garden. But a lot of things happen with the tropical garden where it could get built. Like I did get bamboo. You can't, I can't really find cold hardy bamboo here, but. I did find something like bamboo, it was grass. And, like, we could get no cold hardy bananas, because I guess after that cold snap in Texas, something like that, they winded up buying a lot of uh, cold hardy bananas, and they were, like, really expensive to get. So, yeah, I didn't manage to get any cold hardy bananas for the garden, which is something else I would have had to put in a pot and bury underneath the soil because we're not allowed to plant trees, which sucks. It's the only way I can actually zone push is if I put it in a pot and, like, bury it in the soil or something, which I'm going to be doing to the, uh, well, not the Chinese fan pod, but the, uh, windmill pod. Just got to wait for it to get that truck. Nah, I think it'll be easier anyways. It'd be easier to control the size of it. Um... But yeah, I might just, not now, but during the summer, I might just rip this out. And, and uh, I'll show you the pothos that have plants I'll put in there. Hey, here's my room. The palm would usually be right by the TV that I don't use, because, let's be honest, who uses TV anymore? I, I watch everything on my tablet, so. <laughs> Anywho... Welcome to Jurassic Park. No. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, so like I got my Marble Queen here. I got my Golden and I got my Pothos Enjoy. And uh, I just wanted to take all these and place them in there. Especially since this quarter line is getting uh, quite a bit tall. I definitely want to get this guy in a uh, bigger pot eventually. Because he, he is. He's just getting kind of uh, massive here. And I want to make sure that he gets the uh, best of tits care that he can. I do see some nasty look of foliage on him. But... Uh, and then I see some alright foliage starting to pop up. So, eh, I think it might have just been the shock of bringing them in. Which, I was fully expecting some dead foliage on them anyways. Oh, and here's my uh, Thai plant. My more tropical variety, as you can see. It looks like it's starting to flower. I might smell the flowers. Yeah, I'm, I'm not noticing any scent. They say that usually when they flower, you can smell them, and I'm not, I'm not noticing nothing. 
Well, anyways, this is my whole area I'm gonna have to nuke with all that poison. Yeah, this will be fun. Oh, oh, why'd I have to get so many plants? Again, we do what we do for the love of plants, right? So yeah, this whole room, because uh, I don't want anything getting messed up, because this Orange Bird of Paradise is something I grew when it was very young. Very young. It's just now getting this size on it, and I definitely don't want this to go. Like, I am so attached to this, because this was when she was selling them for cheap for like nine dollars for a small pot and you know it wasn't that long ago that they were actually way more than that so i've kept a hold of it and i've been cherishing it ever since and you know we got my more succulent ones like my uh rock ficus back there my croton which is doing really well uh and then we got this guy right here we got the uh Weeping Fig, which, again, is something you can't really see, which is something, again, that was really small, very few leaves, and, and now look at it. And then we got my Philodendron here. I'm not even going to sound out that name, but... Yeah, I remember when I only had little shoots like that because for some reason, it just completely died back. I was like, oh, okay. Doing really well. Uh, my Dracena Marginata Varagata is doing really well. Bird's Nest Fern. We got this Dracena Florida Beauty. And then we got this fig, which originally was infested, but the person over at the greenhouse definitely treated it for me. And uh, it is a... Ficus species, because um, I'm real fond with the big old tropical trees. It is a uh, holy ficus, I guess. A lot of people bonsai these. And uh, ficus religiosa. And uh, I didn't want to bonsai it. I just want it to grow as one big old tree. And... Uh, Yeah, so I got this uh, right there. You can kind of see the flower. More decorative pot for it. It kind of reminded me of a Buddha pot. So I was like, yeah, yeah, this would be perfect for this tree. We got a little side shoot right here, which I'm going to wind up cutting whenever this guy gets bigger and that gets a little bit bigger. And I will bonsai it. I'll make it quite a large uh, tropical bonsai tree. And then we got my... Rubber tree. I swear this is the only rubber tree that has done good for me. My ficus burgundy. Why am I going to everything that has took a care? Well, that I have took a care of and uh, has done real well for me. Well, I guess it'll just be a little bit of a plant update too. But yeah, originally this guy had spider mites. And so yeah, he's doing good now. He's doing way better. Only ficus that I've actually gotten uh, is so far doing quite well for me. And variegated ones that do worth a crap. Burgundy is doing wonderful. Anyways, yeah, I just really wanted to give an update and say, yeah, you know, I got hit kind of hard with uh, the bugs. And, uh, it really, really does suck. Now, what I'll do is with this pesticide, because what it does is, uh, you put it in the pot. Sorry again, everything's kind of dark. Maybe if I move that light one, it doesn't really help. Anywho, what it does, and maybe I can find a better pot. Yeah, okay, so... Say I will take a whole spoon for a pot this big, sprinkle it in there, and what it does is when I water, because I will be watering today, 
is uh, when I water, the sap will absorb it like feed as it uh, dissolves with every water. And it'll go through the plant, through the sap, through the leaves, making the plant completely poisonous to those bugs. And it'll kill those bugs completely. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to have to do. It worked for me last winter when I was getting hit kind of hard. And I guess I'm going to have to do it again this year. Because uh, if not, I'm it's going to continue to spread. It's going to get way worse. And I'm going to lose all my plants. So it's coming around to I got to do something because I don't want to lose anything. Alright, so I'm actually going to have to get off of here and uh, get doing that. Uh, yeah, uh, just a plant update, blog, and really just a blog if I had to be honest. I was expecting to go into all that detail. My mind just kind of went there and I just caught myself near the end there. And uh yeah, it sucks. It sucks because that is the most expensive plant I've got in my collection. It's like $86. Everything else that I have, I've been starting real young because it's just cheaper that way, more affordable that way. And, uh, yeah, besides my Dione Spinulosum, which would be pretty expensive, uh, I've started everything as a young plant, uh, all the way to the quarter lines to really everything I've, I've owned. I've started everything young. And so as you can imagine, I'm quite attached to all of my plants. And when we get that infestation of bugs like that, it really, it's really upsetting, but, uh, I sprayed neem oil, neem oil, not neem, neem on everything, and uh, now I'm going to add the poisons and water everything in and get this palm back in my room. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for a little bit of a plan update slash blog and what's going on so far, because yeah, everything kind of gotten infested so anyways you guys enjoy the video please give me a like share subscribe and leave a comment down below other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh if you guys leave a comment and i don't get to it right away just know it's because uh, well i'm doing this and i'm quite busy i originally had plans of doing a bonsai video but uh, since all this happened to occur, I don't think I'm going to get to that tree quite yet, sadly. So again, leave a like, share, subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, and leave a comment down below. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed.